The setup for the bomb calorimetry experiment consists of a PAR 6200 isoparaball calorimeter and an oxygen combustion vessel. Verify that the water reservoir at the back of the calorimeter is filled to the line. Turn on the calorimeter. On the main menu of the instrument, push the calorimeter operation button. Start the heater and pump by using the heater and pump button. Open the valve on the oxygen gas cylinder. The pressure regulator should indicate 450 PSI. Allow 20 minutes warm up time. In the sample cup provided, weigh a pellet of benzoic acid on the analytical balance and record the mass. Record the enthalpy of combustion of benzoic acid as provided on the benzoic acid reagent bottle. Place the sample cup on the cup holder. Loop a single piece of cotton thread over the ignition wire. Double the thread on itself, twisting to form a single strand, and feed it into the sample cup. Using a volumetric pipette, pipette one mil of water into the bomb cylinder. Inspect the sealing ring on the bomb head to ensure that it is in good condition. Lubricate the sealing ring with a drop of water. Make sure that the gas valve is in the open position and place the bomb head into the bomb cylinder. Push it down as far as possible without jostling the sample. Place the screw cap onto the cylinder and tighten it by hand until it reaches the stop. Close the gas outlet valve on the bomb head. Connect the oxygen filling line to the assembled bomb. Slide the connector over the gas inlet fitting and push it down as far as it will go. Press the O2 fill button on the calorimeter control panel to start the oxygen filling procedure. Oxygen filling will take approximately 60 seconds. If necessary, push the O2 fill button a second time to stop the filling process. Fill the calorimeter bucket with 2,000 plus or minus 0.5 grams of deionized water. Record the mass of the water. Place the filled bucket into the calorimeter. Make sure the three pegs on the bottom of the calorimeter align with the indents on the bottom of the bucket. Attach the lifting handle to the bomb and place it on the side of the calorimeter. Insert the ignition wire leads into the terminal connections on the bomb head and lower the bomb into the water. Remove the lifting handle, making sure all water droplets fall back into the bucket so that the total mass of the water does not change. Check to make sure that no bubbles are coming out of the bomb assembly. Ensure that the thermistor and stirrer do not contact the bucket, bomb, or firing wires and close the calorimeter cover. On the calorimeter control panel, Use the Operating Mode button to select Standardization Mode. Toggle the Bomb EE button until 1 or Chem 1280 is displayed. The Start button will be grayed out until the temperature stabilizes. Press the Start button when it becomes available. If there is a rattling noise, press the Abort button immediately. If it is safe to proceed, press Yes. Record and accept the sample ID number provided. Enter the bomb ID as indicated in the laboratory procedure. Enter the sample mass. The instrument will beep briefly before firing the bomb, at which point the operator should move away from the instrument. Press the temperature graph button on the calorimeter display to observe the change in temperature. Press escape to return to the calorimeter operation menu. When the test is complete, the instrument will beep briefly and display the test report. Record the temperature rise. Open the calorimeter cover, disconnect the ignition wire leads, and remove the bucket with the bomb from the calorimeter. Remove the bomb from the bucket and place it on the lab bench. Slowly open the gas outlet valve to release the gas pressure in the bomb. The pressure should be released over a time period of at least one minute. After the pressure has been released, unscrew the cap and remove the bomb head from the cylinder. 
Inspect the sample cup for evidence of unburned material. Empty and dry the water bucket and dry the calorimeter components between runs. Grind the sample in a mortar and pestle. On the analytical balance, weigh 0.5 grams of sample into the sample cup and record the mass to the nearest 0.1 milligram. Follow the same steps as for the standardization of the calorimeter. Be sure to set the calorimeter operation to determination using the operating mode button. At the end of the experiment, turn off the main valve of the oxygen tank. Release the pressure by pressing the O2 fill button and turn off the calorimeter using the power button at the back of the instrument.